Wow, that's a great question, and I really thought you were gonna end it with what's a book. Um, <laughs> Because you get that a lot from the kids now. Sir, I have a question. What's a book? And I was going to say, it's like a movie. You flip. Uh, I would say, so this may sound uh, antiquated. I was, I feel like I was raised on Kurt Vonnegut. And so any Kurt Vonnegut, I had the whole from player piano to Breakfast of Champions to Slaughterhouse Five to, you know, Mother and all of them. And he was my favorite author by far. And I felt like he educated me in, in the genre of optimistic, cynical humanism. Like the thing that you're talking about, how do you maintain? So he's a guy who was an author who came of age. He fought in World War II. He saw Dresden. That's what Slaughterhouse-Five was about. It was about his experiences seeing the worst that people could do. And people always mistook his cynicism as, or his, I guess I should say, his dryness as cynicism, but it was really idealism. He believed so uh, much in people that he couldn't help but be somewhat disappointed that we were blowing it in the way that we were blowing it. But I would say, line your, your desk with Kurt Vonnegut and, and you cannot go wrong. And I was uh, lucky enough to get to interview him uh, when he was, you know, hadn't passed away yet. <laughs> no, but he came on, and when he passed away, his son sent me, uh, uh, he was also a really wonderful caricaturist, sent me a doodle of his that he had inscribed to me before he passed. So it's one of my most cherished, uh, but, the, but I would say, Kurt Vonnegut, uh, you can't go wrong. Uh, and like Playboy. <laughs>